um, in terms of like the economy is a term that I didn't know about when we recorded last year. It's called um, a natural asset corporation. Mm -hmm. Um, And this is something that I learned about through Whitney Webb, who, if you guys don't know, she's a really good um, investigative journalist. She's been on Tim Dillon a lot. Um, I recommend listening to her. She has she does and just reading her articles um she's she's really good um but basically like what these are are um basically it's wall street is monetizing nature that's basically what it is have you heard of these Mm -hmm. before Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah like it's crazy like there's gonna be um natural assets that are acquired and kind of corporized and there's going to be like owners of it a board of directors it's going to go through like a normal ipo process um and what they're going to kind of market it as is a green plan um and but it's really what it's doing is transforming uh the financial system that we have to not only include man-made assets but actual like things that we find in nature. Mm-hmm. When I first came across that, um, you know, <laughs> what hit my mind first was, you know, we were talking about the the drone situation where if you, worst case scenario, all of the U.S. became a police state and you still wanted to be able to escape and say run off into the forest oh, or yeah. something oh, that potentially we wouldn't even be able to do that because with all of our facial recognition technology and, and search engine technology and, and AI, even if you have photos online, um, there will be technology soon if they don't already have it that can scan just you know, 2D images and create a facial ID map so that even if you haven't done facial recognition on like your iPhone or, or your device, they will be able to, um, have that data stored, stored to plug into drones. If you were, were say running off into the forest to try to hide from a war, a police state, you might not even be able to do that as, Mm -hmm. as efficiently as you may want to, because then they can send drones out to then maybe execute, I don't know. It's just scary. So what I'm thinking is with that natural natural asset corporation stuff is um, maybe that they're going to, maybe they're going to implement more tech, more cell towers in nature, more. Mm. um, So you can't really have off the grid areas. Exactly. So we're not going to have any off the grid areas. Yeah. And I think it's also just um, a way to control natural assets to fit that also into the utilities method, um, all in the, the name of, things being green like oh you guys can't handle you know you cut down too many trees to build your houses so we're gonna make you sustainable pods yay that we make and we control and we're gonna hold all the assets (laughs) and you're not gonna have a house you're gonna have a pod yeah and no I actually I think I want to read the definition of this just because I think it's important and I actually think Bill Gates will probably be the first one to have one of these considering he owns the majority of farmland in the U.S. but so the, the, the definition um, from the, this is like a financial website. It says a new class of publicly traded tradable securities that hold rights to and manage the productivity and ecological benefits of natural assets such, such as forests, marine areas and farmland. So like. Which is basically everywhere. <laughs> yeah. What do they not? I guess the mountains. Marine mm-hmm. areas, the entire ocean with, that takes up 70% of the world. Are you kidding me? That's terrifying. Which actually, from what I can gather, I, I believe it's the reefs that actually are helping our ozone more than anything. It's the oxygen that's released by kelp and coral in the reefs that, um, you know, add to our, our ozone being as clean as possible more than we would think, or we always envision trees and that type of thing. But yeah, no, the reefs, reefs do a ton. Are you going to trust the people that take private jets everywhere to manage the future of the earth and how green it will be? No, no. Like, come on guys. (laughs) Like this is, this is like, this is, yeah, this is huge. 